This is a Boogaboo Fox 2, and today we're going to show you a variety of ways of holding the stroller, both with the seat and the bassinet attached, uh, seat both forwards and backwards facing. We're going to deal with the one-piece fold uh, with both the seat and the bassinet, as well as the two-piece fold, and also show you how to get all of the various components of the stroller as small as possible in case you're packing them away uh, in your like space issues or something. So this is a Fox 2, and uh, most of the processes are the same for the Fox 1. Uh, the handle triggers on the Fox 1 were on the bottom, but other than that, it's really the same. And uh, it takes a slightly uh, more amount of pressure in order to activate those uh, mechanisms here, as well as on the central bar with the Fox 1. But essentially the process is the same. So if you have the Fox 1, this video will also be useful to you. So, one thing that you can do, and which makes things a bit easier when you're folding down this stroller in all of its uh, folding configurations, is to Number one, put on the brakes, and number two, lock the front wheels. It's not absolutely necessary that you do this, but it does make things a bit easier. So locking the front wheels is a matter of clicking down this white piece here, and then the brake pedal is, of course, on the back here. Okay, starting then with the seat in its forward-facing position. In order to fold this down, you're going to put back your canopy. You're going to lower down your handle all the way in. And you're going to make sure that your seat is in this position. So if you have it a little bit higher, for example, and you want to put it down so that it rests against that handle. And you're going to reach down here, press in on the black button in the middle. That's like the safety uh, element to this mechanism. And then pull up on those two triggers. And then pull the stroller down. And then fold in the front frame until it clicks in place. So that's your self-standing mode with the seat facing forwards. In order to fold it up again then, there are these two dials here on the center. Yeah? And what you're gonna do is turn those dials back and they are memory. Uh, they have like a memory system inside. So you, only, you can do them separately, one and then the other. Then you wanna hold the front frame with one hand and then you can hold actually the seat with the other and you're just gonna pull the stroller into its upright position. And then you can, of course, adjust your handle, your seat positioning, and your canopy as you like it. Okay, then when you have your seat in the reversed position, you're gonna put back your canopy, and you're going to grab a hold of this uh, lever on the back of the seat, which is for adjusting the position of the seat. And you're going to tilt your seat down as far as you can. And then we're gonna repeat the process with the handle. And we're going to repeat the process with these triggers, hold them up, and then again, push in your front frame until it locks in place. And again, to fold it up again, you twist these two dials, grab a hold. I like to grab the bumper bar, but if you would like to reach lower and grab the handle, it's fine as well. And just pull up simultaneously on the front frame and the top section. So then, for your two-piece fold, which of course you can do both with the bassinet and the seat, you're going to start by removing the seat, and there's buttons here on either side. They are also memory buttons, so you don't have to click them at the same time. You can push in one and then the other. This allows you to remove the seat. And then you can fold down the chassis, which is really the same process, but without the seat. So, go, pull up on those triggers, and then pull it in to click. And now, in this case, if you would like this to be a little bit tighter, uh, we will do like the full compact fold in a little bit, but if you want this, just this element to be a bit tighter, you can then twist those dials, and that will allow the front frame and the handle to fold in closer to the back frame. To fold it back up from two-piece fold, pull in on those triggers and pull it up. And you'll notice that it tries to pull itself all the way into the two-wheel mode, but then you just push it back again, and it'll lock into place. Adjust your handle, and then you can replace your seat. And if you want to fold down the elements as small as possible with the chassis, just fold it down as we've shown so far. And then when it's in this position, it's a lot easier to get a hold of those wheels than it is if you fold it all the way flat first. So 
with the back wheels. Um, I'll show you where this is after I take the wheel off, but there's a button back here on the back frame. You press in and you can pull off the wheel. The button was right here. Just press it in and we'll release the wheel. As far as the front wheels are concerned, this is the button for releasing the front wheels. We're gonna pull off both of our front wheels and our other back wheel. And then you can push it down, as I showed you already, into the slightly more compact version of the fold. All right, I'm going to show you the seat then. So, when it comes to making the seat as small as possible, you're going to need to remove the bumper bar. And then, you flip it over, and you look at the bottom, you'll see that those uh, hard pieces to the frame, they kind of lock right here in the middle. So if you reach in here, into these two holes, and press, you can push the entire seat in flat like this, and that gets you a very flat fold for the seat. So then when you have the bassinet attached, it's going to go into its one piece fold in more or less the same way that you did with the seat reversed. So you're gonna put back your canopy and you can reach down and find that lever and then you're gonna pull the bassinet backwards and there's just one lower position that it can go into. Now we're going to adjust our handle, pull on our handle triggers and then reach around and push that front frame in until it locks, just like this. It's actually quite a handy mode for keeping it in the hallway of your apartment or your house or something, in my opinion. Uh, okay, to fold it up again then, twist those two dials, and just as we did before, you can grab uh, the handle in this case, it's still the same unit, the bumper bar, pull up and pull out your front frame at the same time, and then you'll want to adjust your bassinet upright again. Okay. When it comes to the two-piece fold then, you're gonna remove the bassinet. So again, the memory button's on the frame. And then folding the chassis is as previously shown. Pull up on those handle triggers, pull it in. And you can of course get that uh, tighter as well if you like. Okay, when it comes to making this bassinet as flat as possible then, you're gonna pull back your canopy. You're gonna to wanna to remove the bumper bar again. And then, if you flip the bassinet upside down, there are these two struts, one on either side, that attach to this like button area here. So you're gonna wanna pull the strut so that the button goes into the larger space. And that allows it to completely detach. Turn that on both sides. There we go. And that releases the bottom. and allows for quite a flat fold of the bassinet as well. So in any case, those were the various ways of folding down and folding up again, the Boogaboo Fox 2. We hope this video was useful to you, and if it was, we ask you subscribe, it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.